Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to go over understanding C out output and understanding variable assignment. Okay, so we're just going to jump right into it. Really quick before we, we go any further, I just want to point out that you should ignore all this right here. I'm sorry it's messy. I regret ever drawing that. But it's a note to myself to explain to you a question that somebody had asked me that I had myself um, started the question in, in the earlier video. Um, right here to your left side, these are all this is just to insinuate lines, okay? So you can understand the better um, the way the way the, pro, the compiler works. When the compiler is reading your program, I told you this guys before, but I'm going to run through it again. Um, let me just quickly put some comment bars. When the when the when the program runs through the, or the compiler runs through your program, it starts here and it uh, it starts reading from left to right, top to bottom. And it says, let's say this is a new line right there. It says line one, this is what's happening. It says, oh, I have to ignore this because there's a two two forward slashes. That means it's a comment, which means it, it, anything after these two slashes has to be ignored. And then it looks down to the next one and it says, oh, here's another two slash one. This one, this one has to be ignored. And then it says, okay. And then this line, there's nothing else on this line, so it's going to ignore all, all everything else. And uh, then it's going to go down here and it's going to say. Oh, you know what this is? This is a library, and this right here is the file name, and it's going to read that, and then it's going to, you know, perform whatever actions need to be performed, which means opening the library, opening the file, and then it says, oh, using namespace std. Now, I didn't explain this to you guys yet, but uh, really quick, I just want to, um, well, before I even explain anything to you, I just want to point out that you see these, uh, these uh, semi semicolons. Um, what this basically means is that after the compiler gets this line, it tells the compiler to do all this and then stop right here. That's very important for your program syntax. Your syntax is, a, is, a, is the rules for writing programs. If you have an incorrect syntax, it's going to create some errors in your program, and you don't want that. So just remember that the semicolon means to terminate the line. So anyways, uh, now I'm going to tell you about the using namespace std. When you're using namespace std, all that is is it's saying that you're using namespace, which is a kind of grouping, which is used to organize the names of a program and program entities, and it says assign std to that grouping. So all the all the components of your program are going to use um, the, the the compiler is automatically going to um, label with std. I know laugh laugh now, you juvenile person laugh at the funny um, coincidence, but yeah, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to assign std to it, and it's going to um, claim that all the entities are part of the same grouping, which is you know, the std grouping. You're going to understand more of that when I go over it later. Um, really quick, this again, this int main, it's going to come down with the compiler's reading through it. It's going to come down and says, oh, this is a function here. How do we know it's a function? Well, this right here tells us that it is a function. Um, these parentheses, the open and closing of the parentheses, just indicate that it's a function, as a variable carrying function. Um, there's no variable in it right now. I'll, again, we're going to go over more of that later. But right now, we know it's a function because of these parentheses. And then it's it's going to say, well, this part right here, this whole statement right here, from this part to this part, um, that's going to be part of the int main function. The int is just assigning the variable, the kind of the the kind of variable that you're going to need for the function of main. Main is actually the name of the function. Um, int is just is just basically the the variable type, which is integer. So it's going to be an integer returning function. So what happens here is, and I didn't explain this before, and I really wish I I had prepared more for my other video. But um, what what's going on here is. This is the kind of function that says it's going to return a variable. This tells you what kind of variable it's going to return. When it goes through the whole statement, it's going to return a variable. Zero terminates the statement. I, did, I know I went through this before, but I know that, um, zero returns the statement. So it's going to return the value of zero, which means there's nothing really to do other than terminate the function. So that's, that's, how, that's how this works out. Now what's going to go on here as we carry on after uh, digressing momentarily is we have this C out operator right here, and uh, I'm calling it operator, I think it's an identifier, or, ah, that always messes me up, I'm going to get that right, I'll put in the annotations, um, I know this is the operator for sure, 
this is uh, this is this is seeing out program rocks, and then we have another operator here that says great, and then there's it ends the it ends the line with the semicolon. So what does that basically mean? That basically means that we know what's going on here. We know that uh, program rocks that is a uh, that that that's a text right there because we know the the quotation marks right here mean that whatever's inside or in between the quotation marks is a is a text but but we don't know is it is it going to is it going to be something like this where it says program rocks or whatever is it going to is it going to say that like that, and then is it going to be followed by great? Or is it going to be one on top of the other? That's the main question we have to answer right now. Is it, is it, going, to, is it going to be all in one line, and then, or is it going to be followed by programming rocks, and then underneath it, the word great? And to, uh, to answer this question, What's going to happen is it's going to say programming rocks, and it's going to be followed by great. And the reason why that's going to happen is because we don't have anything telling it to go to a new line. Okay. So what's going on here is we have the compiler running through this, and it gets to this line here, and it says, oh, I have to see out this statement, this upcoming statement. And it says, what is this statement? It says it's a, a text-based statement. Why, does it, why is it a text-based? Well, because it's in between these two quotation marks. So it says it's a text-based statement, okay. Um, programming rocks, it knows it's going to output that. And then, oh, what's this going on here? This is another part of the program. It says, oh, okay, here's another operator. Um, it says I have to include this right here. Well, what is this right here? Well, it's the word great. So it says, oh, okay, this is all one line, and there's nothing telling me to put on a new line. So it's going to say, okay, it's, I'm going to put this together, and I'm going to put this, and then I'm going to end the statement because there's a semicolon right there. And then it's going to say, okay, and then I have to return zero to terminate the statement because that's what they're telling me to do. And that's it, and then your program's completed. So, again, the output, what is the output going to be? Well, it's going to be programming rocks. This right here, followed by this, because there's absolutely nothing that tells it differently. It's just what you have right there. Okay, so then we have another program really quick. Um, let's go ahead, you know, I already told you about all that. Let's just jump right into what, what is inside the main function. We're going to see out program is, and then we're going to see out awesome. Program is awesome, right? That's basically what we're going to go for. Now, these are on two separate lines. So now that begs the question, is it going to be all on the same line, or is it going to be two separate lines? Because now we have two different um, C out statements on two separate lines. Well, this is where the compiler is kind of really smart and really stupid, because it recognizes that this is a text and this is a text. And it realizes that, yes, it's on two different lines, but it won't matter. It's just going to still put it all on the same line because there's nothing that tells it to put it on separate lines. Now, if this had something like, um, let's erase this right here. Let's say it had something like, so we erase all this right here, and then we say, um, you know what? Let's use our operator because that's the proper way to, to uh, you know, that's proper syntax. And we're going to say, okay, you know, what if we have a slash n right here, and then we have a, a semicolon, you know, to end the statement. Well, what's going to happen now? Well, it's going to say program is, and then it says, oh, wait, we have an operator here. Oh, what does that mean? Slash n means new line. So it's going to say program is, and then a new line underneath it, it's going to say awesome. So it's going to say pro, let me see if I can get this up, messing with the camera here. program is awesome. That's going to be the result of this slash n. Without the slash n, let's say the slash n doesn't exist and this operator doesn't exist and that's still there, it's going to be all one term again.
So the slash n makes a difference. It tells the compiler, hey, you got to be different. You got to, you got to um, make sure this all gets on a new line. Okay, let's go over one really quick program here before we finish up this video, and that is uh, this program right here, which is going to assign a variable. Oh, nope, wrong one. This one is. That was another incomplete. Yeah, I was trying to figure out something else. Anyways, um, this is a program right here. This is a, a little, a little beastly little program that says, okay, you know, this is our int main. This is we're gonna just jump right into it. This is our main function, and this is a we're gonna. This is a variable that we want to define. Well, this is the variable right here. This could be anything. If you're math mathematically inclined, you're gonna want to call this x. This is variable x. We say, okay, variable x is an integer, and then we're gonna say variable x or number, whichever one you want to prefer. Variable x is going to be equal to 9. So let me just with follow proper syntax. I'm going to say x equals 7. Why did I say 9? I meant 7. Notice that in this line right here, um, it's going to ignore anything that says that has these two forward slashes after it. So it's just going to ignore whatever I wrote here. See that? Use proper syntax. Anyways, so um, basically, you know, x equals 9 or number equals 9. And it's going to say, see out, what do we have here? Open quotation marks. The value in the number is, and then we have an operator right there, and we have number. And we have this new thing, which is basically the same thing as slash n. It just tells it to, it's a new line. It's the same thing that means the same thing. I don't know why they have it, but they do. And then it's going to say return zero. So what's going to happen here is, as we go through this program, what's going to occur? Right? That's that's the question now. What what is going to happen here? Well, we're we're going to see that the value in the number is is going to have to be outputted. Why is it? Because it's uh it's between the two double quotation marks. So we're going to say the value the value in number is and then what's going to happen? Well, right here. Remember that there's no quotation marks right here. This is the same as saying x. What is x? Well, we told it up here that x equals 7. See that? Number equals 7, same as x equals 7. Well, here, it's just going to say we want to include this in the output. The value of the number is 7. And then it's going to end it. There's going to be no period, but you know it's basically going to end right here. And that's it. And that, then what happens is, you know, we return the zero, and the function terminates because zero is an integer, correct? So the function terminates, and you're done. Okay, so uh, thanks, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys understand. Leave any questions in the comment boxes below or contact me, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, please give me a lot of feedback on my videos so I can improve them in any way possible. Thank you, and have a nice day.